What's up everybody? This is Bailey Maloney and today I am back with another Fady review. Today we will be looking at Espio the Chameleon released by Jack Pacific. Now I just got him on eBay and let me tell you when he was first released I was super excited to get him and now that I got him I'm really really happy that I did. <laughs> What do you say we start off by looking at his accessory? Now, this is pretty much a generic accessory. Uh, this one is a checkpoint, only this time it's painted in a different color, yellow. For comparison's sake, here's another checkpoint stand. As you can see, this, the ball on this checkpoint is painted blue, while the other was painted yellow. I'm gonna have to give kudos to Jack Specific for creating some checkpoints. Although, I was kind of expecting to have an accessory for Espio. You know, that's kind of close to his character. Like maybe having a kunai or a ninja star or any of those things. But we end up with this checkpoint. Um, I wasn't. I what? No, I'm not disappointed at all. No, no, no. I think Jack Specific did an amazing job. Although, I kind of wish that they would have picked uh, a character-based accessory for Espio. But, I'm not complaining about that. <laughs> Besides which, now we get to look at Espio the Chameleon. The painting and sculpting on this figure look... Uh, they look pretty good, although I kind of see this smudge on here that happened to be on mine. It's the same as sound on the back, and I can see that some of the spikes were not painted all the way, especially with this um, spine right here. It, the paint, I don't know if the paint kind of wore off or whatever, but... Yeah, they got his head right, they got his his horn right. As you can see here, Espio is smiling. Now, I, I personally like it. I think my fan character Katrina would love that. <laughs> uh, his gloves are sculpted in nicely, including the cuffs. The boots were sculpted in nicely. Uh, the tail is sculpted nicely too. Oh, and you know what else? The bottom of his shoes are painted. Now, when I got him from a as a Jazzwares figure, I had to paint the bottom of his his shoes black in order to fit best with the character design. But now that Jack Specific finally got to do that, I don't have to worry about that. So yeah, kudos to Jack Specific. <laughs> so. With the painting and sculpting out of the way, time we go over to articulation. And as always, starting from the head down. So, for articulation, Espio can move his head left and right and can do a 360. His arms go in and out, forward and back, swivel on the wrist, and the wrist can somewhat go up and down and and swivel the way around. The one thing I'm kind of, the one thing I'm actually really, I was really surprised by, this hand, the glove doesn't really move, only the wrist does. But that's what you expect from an SBO figure, right? <laughs> As you can see here, his hand has this little, this stick, coming down here and apparently Jack Specific uh, sculpted the cuff to to basically stick it to the arm and only have the wrist be articulated. That's the same thing that happened with Eggman and Rouge the Bat. But that's pretty that's pretty clever. <laughs> His legs go out about that far back about that far, bend and swivel on the knee, 
a little bit. Yeah, it does swivel a little bit. Swivel in the ankle, and the ankle can kind of go up and down and a little bit of pivot. Oh, and a bonus. His tail is also articulated. It is articulated as a ball joint. <laughs> now that is what I call awesome. Well, Jack, I honestly think Jack Pacific didn't really have to do that, but it's great that they did. So SBO could have a little more articulation, which I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> so yeah, I am really happy that I got SBO. I cannot wait to get Vector as soon as he comes out for wave 10 and just by from what I can tell there could be a good chance that Charmy will be released a wave after after that <laughs> I can't wait for it <laughs> so that way the Chaotix will be the third Sonic Heroes team to be completed so what do you say we do some size comparisons well, qu real quick? <laughs> yeah, I cannot speak today. <laughs> Here is Knuckles the Echidna from Jack's Pacific. And here's his best friend, Silver the Hedgehog. Ah, crap. Okay, hang on a second. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Yeah, as you can see, Espio seems to be a little taller than Silver. All the while, yeah, just by the tip of his of his head, he seems to be a little taller than Knuckles. That of which I'm gonna I'm gonna give kudos to Jack Specific for accurately sculpting Espio. So yeah. Well, that wraps up my figure review of Jack Specific SBO the Chameleon fi figure. <laughs> Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. If you give this video, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I definitely appreciate it. More videos will be coming out as soon as possible. This is Bailey Maloney signing off. Catch you on the flip side. <laughs>